So this week is our Florence University of Arts Spring Break. For our big spring break week, we are doing three days in Rome, including one day in Vatican City, three days in Athens, a day in Naples, and a day in Pompeii. So Kaylee and I headed to Rome last night. We got to our hostel, and we are starting the day today in Rome with a coffee and a pastry. Um, it was absolutely gorgeous. It was so beautiful. I felt like a fantasy, like the trees in it were like super tall and then just would have these leaves at the top. So it made it literally, literally look like a fantasy. Like, like, I was like, this is surreal. It kind of felt like Central Park, but in Rome with a more like historic turn on it. And gorgeous views from uh, looking over the city. So for lunch, we went to Oregano, which was so good. It was seemed like like half or maybe a third of their menu was vegan options. Um, a lot of it was like vegan versions of other things off the menu. So like Haley, she got a pesto gnocchi, and there was a vegan version of that as well. But I um, was really excited because it was vegan lasagna with vegan cheese and like kind of a vegan substitute meat sort of thing in there. Super good. Really delicious. Really, we both loved it, and um, I would highly recommend it. The Pantheon was cool. Um, it had a beautiful outside, very um, looked very really historic and cool. Um, the inside was just kind of a big circle. Um, I don't really know much of the history about it, so maybe I need to like learn a little bit more because um, I didn't really know much about like the tombs and the people who were in there and like what kind of uh, thing. But I know it's a really old building and it was cool to see it. It was pretty. We are at Castel Sant'Angelo. Um, and this is gorgeous. We had a last minute and decided to do this. Like, it wasn't on our list, but we decided to do it. It's a whole museum. It was only, what, 13 euros. Um, but it is gorgeous so far, and we still have two, three more levels to look at, uh, but it's absolutely beautiful. So we just stopped for a little cappuccino break, and we have the most amazing view. So after touring the beautiful castle, we decided we wanted to find like a drink somewhere but not have to eat. So we walked a little ways and here comes this biblio bar. It was called and it had like it was like book themed. It was a little pop-up stand and so I got an Apple Spritz and Haley got a Bellini. And we just sat there and we chit-chatted and we had our drinks and watched the sun go down a little bit. We found some really cute postcards and then we walked to walk to walk. <laughs> which was um, like a build your own hibachi grill stir fry place. It was really, really good. Um, different from the ones in America because you pay by the ingredients you choose and not like a flat rate for the stir fry. So after that, we did a quick little jaunt to Piazza Navona, um, which was just a cool thing to kind of see in the nighttime with the lights. And then we took the 45 minute walk back to the hostel. And um, it's not too late, kind of an early night, but we were both feeling really tired after the big long day of exploring. It was a beautiful day in Rome, beautiful weather, and we were excited to explore Vatican City tomorrow. This morning we grabbed a cappuccino and a croissant and now we are on the train heading to Vatican City. We have tickets booked to tour the Sistine Chapel and Vatican Museums. We are super excited to check out Vatican City.
So we were on the train and we thought that they had said Vatican City, Rome, which is what we thought like our train stop was, even though we really knew it was San Pedro, but whatever, we thought that they had said our train stop. So we get off, we walk off the train and then we look at the sign and it says Rome, Stratosphere or something. And we're like, I was like, Ava, this is our stop. We're like, no, there's no way. So then we walk back on the train, uh, luckily realized it quickly and got ourselves back on. And then uh, the next stop was San Pietro, which is where we were getting off. So we got off and then we made our way. It was about a 25 minute walk to where the tickets we had bought said there was like a meeting point. So we were supposed to go right to the Vatican Museum. We were supposed to go to this meeting point. Well, first we ended up on the wrong street somehow. Google Maps took us to the wrong place. And we're standing there. There's no one around us. I was like, hey, this doesn't seem right. I was like, I don't know what's going on. So we looked again, found the right place. And then it's called... It didn't say this, but like this is what the place was called, but it's called like tourist station, which is where you go and then they give you your like, we got these like little stickers to put on and then they take you, the like tourist group, they get a group of you and then they take you right into the Vatican and then you stand in there and one of the like tour guide people gets your ticket for you, gives you your ticket and then they bring you in. So we didn't have to wait in like the long line outside. So it was definitely, I think, worth it and like worth doing it that way, even though we didn't really know. I wish there were more clear instructions as to that was what was happening. And then we made it into the Vatican Museum and it's been absolutely gorgeous. There was this long um, like exhibit and it was called something like geography and it had the ceiling was beautiful um, and then all the ceilings were beautiful and then there was maps on all of the walls of um, different regions in Italy which was really cool because having taken our cultural intro class we like recognized like, oh that's Benito, Cambria, Sardina and Chapel, that was gorgeous, obviously. Um, you can't take any pictures or videos in there, fun fact. Um, but it was really gorgeous, and that's been our day at the Vatican so far. After lunch, we did a little bit more of the Vatican Museums, and then we headed over and got in line for St. Peter's Basilica. We were really scared because the line took like two hours. It only took about 30 minutes. Yeah. Not, not too long. long. It looked crazy long, though. This is the crazy line to get into St. Peter's Basilica. It's all the way up there. But then we got in, and it was good. It was beautiful in there. Gorgeous. Like, so gorgeous. I don't know, it's humongous so and like the largest statues you ever would see. We went down and saw the tomb of the popes, um, but you can take any videos down there. But the recently deceased pope was down there, or his, oh, his tomb stone, uh, I guess, was down there. Six, six, 16th. 16th, oh, I knew there was a season there. We drank some holy water as well. Water. <laughs> Review. 10 out of 10. <laughs> well, we want to tell you guys, we saw someone else do it the way we did it yes, before we did it. Yeah, and more people after we And more people after us. Even someone that like works there. So we're definitely, it's okay. You don't have to spill water bottle. You can drink out of it. Out like, of like, um, garden hose. Like yeah, <laughs> garden hose. And we decided to climb up to the top of the dome. And we would highly recommend doing the steps instead of the elevator because it's two years cheaper. If you want to get to the top, you have to do way more steps anyway after the elevator. So it's just like a few extra steps before the steps to get up to the top. Because it's 551 steps up. After you get off the elevator, you still have 320 steps to go. Right. And the steps before the elevator weren't that like steep. Right. So yeah. And then also we got to skip the line. There was like a line for the elevator and then there was a line what, another 20 minutes? Or more, yeah. It is, um, if you're claustrophobic, it's a little, like, the steps are really tight. Like, probably not yeah. that more than, like, our body. And the dome walls were kind of, like, angled oh, yeah, in, which in was the crazy. Dome, so, yeah, like, yeah, so, dome. it was so beautiful. Up the top, gorgeous, what do you think? Absolutely stunning. Yeah. So worth it.
So then after that, we got really hungry, but it's only like five o'clock. So we went and we got some roasted chestnuts from a, a vendor That's on the street. Pro tip, they come in a shell, you don't eat the shell. Right, Kaylee learned that Not, not, not that way. I'm speaking for experience or anything, but mm -hmm. this chestnut was in this nice yep. little yep. shell. Take the shell out. Uh -huh. Um, but I thought they were scrumptious, but like just like a soft, it's soft, 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 yes. nutty goodness. We decided we're going to get Mexican food for dinner tonight and we are super excited, so that's where we're heading next. So excited. So this is day three in Rome, I guess day two technically, yesterday was Vatican City. Um, but this morning we got up and we were missing our American breakfast. So we went to Cafe Washington, we got some waffles and an omelet for Kaylee and some fancy coffees. And now we are heading um, back to the tourist station office and we're gonna get escorted to the Roman Forum. We get to explore that in Palatine Hill. And then um, we are going to get a guided tour of the Coliseum. We watched a little multimedia <laughs> video that we actually went in early on and then we like actually found our time later. Our tour guide took us over, like walked us over the Coliseum, talked about some cool stuff on the way. Then we had our guided tour of the Coliseum. I love our tour guide, she was super knowledgeable. The Coliseum was very cool. Very cool as well. And then after the Coliseum tour, we took some pictures and we got some lunch. We went to the Rome Mercato Central, which um, is like the one in Florence, but a lot busier. A lot busier. A little bit smaller, a lot more people, but that was delicious. Now we're heading back into the ancient Rome area to do Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. So after lunch, we sought out the entrance to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. We just thought it was easy as you would think to figure right. out how to get into that place. There were some signs, we saw some signs. Eventually we found it and it was fantastic. It, it was like you were transported to ancient Rome. It was really awesome. Mm -hmm. it was really cool. And we also learned, so like the Roman Forum, we kind of knew this. It's not like a uh, statue. Maybe most people know this. We didn't. Um, it's this like stretch of all these ancient ruins because the forum used to be where like the city's um, like an ancient Rome was the like, city and government center. We the also social area as yeah, well. Yeah, it was the, the hot place to be. Um, so it's like a big stretch of ruins and then we believe Palantine Hill is like you just kind of, the Roman forums like at like ground level and then you go up some steps and then there's like some gardens and there's like a bunch of stuff up there. We believe all of that is Palatine Hill. Because there were there were signs pointing up to Palatine Hill, but there was nothing that was like this is Palatine Hill. Like, it might just be everything that's up there. So we get up there above. There's a beautiful look down though. Like you can get up there, yeah. walk through some gardens, and then you can look down and see like all of the Roman forms from the yeah, So that's pretty cool. Whoa! What is happening? Then after that, we ventured back down um, into more of like the city area and we found a postcard for Kaylee. Mm -hmm. Then we tried to head to this ice bar um, it it that was recommended. It's online, it said it opened at 5. We got there and on the door it was posted that from this day until February 24th, it actually was not going to open until 7 p.m. It's so really like, oh. Okay, because we were going to do that and then dinner. But instead, we just swapped it and we did um, dinner at Triste Pizza, um, which was super good. And apparently they had like some famous tiramisu that we also got. It was delicious. Whoa. And then we had to the ice bar from there. And the ice bar was super cool. A $15 cover charge. You get a free drink and you get a blanket with it. And then you go in and you can just be in there for as long as you want. We did about half an hour. I'm sorry, it's going to be cold. Yeah. Um, and then from there, we headed back to our hostel for the night. Yeah. And now, this morning, we um, got up pretty early. We had breakfast at our hostel. And now we are on the train heading to the airport. And next stop is Athens, Greece. <laughs> 